all well welcome back to my youtube channel or if you're new here then welcome me and my mom are going to ikea this morning i mentioned a few videos back that i've just moved into a new apartment a couple of weeks ago and there's still so many bits that i need to get we're going to do a little trip this morning obviously i wanted to bring my mom because she's just so good at anything interior i love this bedroom that i'm staying in she's done all of the interior i don't know if you can see like the wallpaper and it's just so like boudoir like boutique vibes where we're going there is also a range i think there might be a tk max as well so i'm hoping that i can literally get everything that is on my list today this is the vibe for today sorry i really don't know what's going on like it is so dark today <laughs> I've been out of the house for like four hours now. I just need a shower. There's just too much. It's almost done. Too much outside on me. You can probably see behind me. The car is full i don't know how i'm gonna get all of this from the car into my apartment anyway before i need to worry about that i've just pulled up i'm getting my hair done which is why i've been wearing this baseball cap all day the hair i love my hairdresser i love spending the time catching up with her because it takes about three or four hours per appointment. I have an appointment every like eight weeks, so it's a good length of time for a good catch up. I just wanted to show you the pieces that I picked up today. Who does not love a good homeware haul? I ended up spending double the amount and I still don't have everything that I need. I just have some candle holders that my mum gave me because she didn't want them anymore. I got these glasses. I bought some extra ones because I thought they changed, but... Yeah, they're exactly the same, but I got six of these, so I now have seven. I love these for my Mon Juice. For the plates, flat, they don't really have a lip, but they're this really nice, like, cream colour and then grey swirl as well. And then I just got the same again, but the side plates, so you get the vibe with them. I kind of look like I'm growing bangs here with this little bit of hair that snapped off but it is kind of making me want those like thin bangs also from ikea i got this like metal thing and it just goes on the worktop that's caught on my nail it sits on the worktops and when you take like hot pans off the hob then you can just put it on this and i kind of just bought this more for aesthetic reasons because i think it actually looks quite nice on the black marble then i got two mini pedal bins one for each bathroom so i got one in black and one in this like mauve is it mauve 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 top color because one of my bathrooms is a little bit more like pastel so i've got a pack of the really big tea lights as well i only use these i feel like the smaller ones just aren't big enough and then i got two of the bamboo balls i did have two of these before and they got really stained on the inside so i thought i would get two new ones this same glass tupperware but it's just like a small circular one with the bamboo lid and i thought maybe i keep seeing recipes for like overnight oats i also got some fresh new cutlery ikea do like a matte black set of cutlery and i've always wanted to get them when i get like new cutlery and they didn't have any left I got one wine glass. If you know about these wine glasses, you just know that these are such a staple. I only got one because I had six and then I smashed one. So I just want to top that back up and have six wine glasses. And then a small loose teapot. I've been wanting one of these for so long and I've just never got around to buying one. They did have a really big one, but I think just for one person, like it's only me who drinks loose tea. Super mint tea, like loose tea leaves from TK Maxx. So I can use this tonight. I also picked these two shower gels up from TK Maxx. I love a good, like, solid shower gel in the bottom of the shower. Both Clinical Works. This one is Salicylic Acid Grapefruit Cleansing Shower Gel. 
And then this one is Hyaluronic Acid Rose Water Cleansing Shower Gel. These just make me so happy. And they're £7 each. These are going to last me so long. I've got two medium support pillows from M&S because I have two bedrooms. So one of them is a guest bedroom. That bed is completely naked. So I had to just get some pillows and a duvet. I also picked up these from M&S. My mum gave me some like candle holders and I didn't have any candles to go in them. So I just picked up these ribbed long candle. These are unscented, but they have a burn time of 7.5 hours. good morning guys i'm just gonna put you down there i'm just about to head off for a run i am meant to be doing 10k this morning but i feel a little bit I feel a little bit drained this morning. I feel like I do usually say this because the thought of a 10k actually makes me want to cry. But once I do the first like two or three k, I'm actually fine. I am currently training because I'm doing a 10k at the end of May. And up until a few months ago, I didn't really run. So I'm trying to do a 10k every week. And up until now, I've been running in my Oswego's, which as you can imagine, isn't really ideal. Like... I'm almost 28. My knees, they don't need that. So I ordered some Nike trainers and they actually arrived yesterday. They are a pretty basic trainer and they were quite reasonably priced because I noticed on Nike you can pay like up to £200 for some running trainers, which I don't want to do that. So I just picked up these, which are the Revolution 6. They're just a really plain trainer. They do look kind of like a fake. That just feels really like plasticky like polystyrene trainers that i've ordered and because i don't really know what i'm doing like i don't really know what i need from a running trainer them to feel like i'm running on air if anyone has any recommendations for trainers for running that aren't overly expensive that would be so welcome i think i'm just gonna have to stick to my oswegos for the time being but i'm just about to make a coffee and then i'm gonna head off but i will see you guys very shortly got my hair done yesterday for it to look like this that was probably one of the hardest runs not my finest time but i'm just so glad that's out of the way anyway i need to go make some food it's almost 2 p.m and i've not yet eaten so i'm gonna make some breakfast plan for the rest of the day is i'm gonna go meet some friends i'm gonna go grab a coffee and sit in the sun outfit of the day we're going for a super casual look i've just got this shoulder bag on with the gold detail but i don't know if i'm feeling it i have this shoulder bag i also have this handbag which i kind of like the chain strap or i could just wear this bag which is just plain black i think i kind of like this one to be fair that basically made no difference at all to the outfit but also this bag is a little bit bigger so it means i can bring like snacks i do want to bring a book with me my problem is i have started all of these books i get like halfway and then decide to start a new book so i could literally choose any of these but i think i'm gonna go with this one if you've seen the theory of everything about stephen hawking then this book is based on that it's a true story and i think it's written by jane hawking which was his wife i'm gonna end this vlog here just before i go and sit in the sun for the rest of the day. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next one.